Hello and welcome to Paint Night Syracuse! My name is Claire. I will be your artist and instructor for the evening. Just to give you guys a little idea about my background in painting, pretty much been painting since I can pick up a brush. I've loved art all my life. I've taken numerous classes throughout my life with art. And now I've been painting custom glassware as well as upcycled palette wall hangings. I dig the recycled art. So, just a little bit about me. You guys are in great hands tonight. And just wondering before we get going, has anyone ever been to a paint night before? Show of hands. All right, a few of you. Well, that's perfect that there's a lot of new people here because we are in a no judgment zone. I only want positive vibes going here, no negativity. Everyone is here to have fun and just have a great time painting with me tonight. So, one of the reasons that we're able to do that, make it a lot more fun, is because we are incorporating cocktails into our evening. Does everyone have a drink? All right, if you need a drink, see your server. Um, and you know those cocktails really help bring out the inner artist. I believe there's one in everybody and I hope you know we can release some of those tonight, get those creative juices flowing and have just a great time. And you know, if that mojito you're drinking has you feeling funky, you're thinking instead of you know, the, the sky you see here that you want some polka dots and flying monkeys going on, go for it. I want to encourage you guys to be creative and paint what you're feeling. If it's not what I'm saying, you know, just, just go for it. And I'd just like to introduce you guys on that note to tonight's painting. You'll see it here. Um, what kind of colors do you guys see here? You have a lot of grays, you know, the gray background. We've got some green grass, um, red flowers, and those are the main colors we'll be using tonight, some yellow in the background. So what I'm going to do for you guys tonight is I'm going to break this painting down into simple steps. Um, we're going to work on the background first, light to dark, then we're going to do some grass, and then we'll move on to the flowers, the stems, and finally, your dragonflies, if you want dragonflies in there. So, and I know when we start, your painting may seem kind of, you know, incomplete. It's supposed to. As we do more and more steps, your painting will really come together, and by the end, you'll have this wonderful piece of art you'll be proud to hang on your wall when you get home. So, before we really get started, I just want to ask you guys that during steps, when I'm instructing everybody on how to do each step, if you can kind of turn the volume down on your talking a little bit, just so everybody can hear me. I want you guys to be able to converse and have fun, but just so everyone can hear the steps. So, and then feel free to turn it back up while you're painting in between. All right, before we get to our painting, one more thing. I want to go over your brushes. Everybody should have three brushes different sizes. and. To make it a little more fun than just large, medium, and small, we're going to have a little Goldilocks thing going on here. The big one is going to be, you guessed it, Papa Bear. The medium one, Mama Bear. I like to use Mama Bear a lot. And the little one for a lot of the detailed type things is your Baby Bear brush. If anyone needs any more paint during the session, um, you have a plate with red, yellow, blue, white, and black on it. If you need paint, if you need more of any color, please let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, just want to encourage you to let that inner artist flow. So, moving on. Um, in interest of time, because this audition video is only 10 minutes, I went ahead and did the basic background and the basic background of the grass. Um, I want to get to some of the more detailed steps for the audition video, so I just went ahead and did that so we can start with that. So, um, and I've, you know, I've been to a paint night before, I know it's two hours. Um, I just wanted to do this, I, we have to do this more quickly, so I will not be leaving as much time as I would in between steps for people. Um, 
just in the interest of time. We'll be speeding things along. So, to get things started, everyone, want to get right into it? We're going to take out our Papa Bear brush to finish up this background. So, I'm going to get some water here. Water is your friend. And um, we're going to get some white and black to make our gray here. I'm going to start in the lighter area here in the middle, as you can see on our painting. I'm going to make X's, very short strokes back and forth. Sometimes I am putting both sides of the X on, sometimes not. You know, just this is a very good opportunity for you guys to get creative. If you don't like the color scheme, feel free to do a different one. Um, you know, and I'm just giving some texture to this light area with my X's, just short X's back and forth. Can everybody see? And then once we get that light area done, I'm going to move on to the darker outside area. We're going to do more black into our gray. And continuing with the X's. I like to go off to the side of my painting a little bit. If you go and do the sides when you're ready to hang your beautiful piece of work on your on your wall when you get home, you won't have to worry about framing it. All right. I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow into the background. You see in my painting there's some yellow in there. And then we're going to have to move on to the next step if everyone's ready. If you need more time, I don't want to push you. Adding some yellow. You can add some blue even if you want. I added some blue in my painting I did last night. All right. So I'm going to move on because we got 10 minutes here. What I'm going to do for the grass is flip the painting upside down. Makes it easier for me. No, it sounds kind of strange, but you'll see. All right, so we're gonna have green grass here if you want it. Um, I'm gonna pick up Mama Bear. And what colors do we use to make green? Yep, yellow and blue. All right, so I'm gonna mix up my yellow and blue here. We're gonna start with light colored grass. So if you want to add a little bit of white your green. You can even add, if it's a really bright green for you, sometimes I think it's a little bright, you can add a tiny, tiny bit of red. Just a tiny bit, otherwise you'll end up with brown. If you want brown grass, go for it. So we're going to just start at the top of our painting and just do one stroke, lines going in different directions different heights, you know, play with the heights. I'm going to add a little, you know, blue to my green to darken it up just a little bit. And that's how we're going to do it all the way across the bottom. You just start at the top of your painting, drag your line down as far as you'd like to, and go all the way across your painting. If you want to do squiggly lines, if you want to do, you know, farther up into the painting than I'm doing, go for it. Like I said, creative juice is flowing here. And once we get all the way across, we're going to do our darker grass. I'm going to add a little bit more red to my green and a little bit of extra blue to make it dark. And then we can do our dark grass on top. All the way across, line starting at the top, same way you did the light colored grass. And in the interest of time, I'm going to have to move on to the next step. If 
If I was actually doing a paint night, I would wait for you guys. We're going to flip our painting back over. And I'm going to just start to show you the flowers. So, for the flowers, I'm going to start with the red on the flowers and do kind of like a, a fat circle. And they're going to be floating for now. We're going to put the stems on later. So, I have seven flowers in my original painting. I'm still using my Mama Bear brush. I'm going to make my fat circles here. Any, any height you want, I like to bury them. And I'm going to bury the direction that they're going as well. We're just going to start with our red and we'll fill in the details after. Some fat circles here. You know, some bigger than others, some smaller. Whatever you guys feel like doing. As you can see, I'm just, you know, basic, squished fat circle here. All the way across. I'm going to do my seven again. I like that. And the last one kind of off, off, off to the side. Off camera there. All right. So I know I'm getting close to my 10 minutes. I didn't get to show the whole painting, but I hope um, you had a good time painting with me. I uh, thank you guys for coming. I hope everyone had a good time. Can we raise our glasses if you have any drink left and just give a cheers to yourselves. Great job, everybody. I love all your paintings. Everyone was doing such a great job. Um, we do private parties if you're interested, and I hope you guys will give us some feedback. You can email info at paintnight.com or go to the comments section on our website. Um, I hope you'll come again. I really hope we see you guys again. Um, and if you took some pictures tonight, I know I saw some of you guys taking pictures. Please post them to Facebook. Um, I'll post some pictures as well. Tag yourselves, share with your friends. Um, and in closing, I'd like to thank you, Paint Night, for watching my audition video. I know it was really brief. I hope it gave you an idea of what I can do. You know, the painting's unfinished. I had to rush between steps to try to get a few in. But I really hope it can give you an idea of what I can do and my capability as an artist and a speaker. So cheers to that, and thank you very much.